Oh. Now I will be showing you some features. Something. Shall I from its manual there? This is the snug leather cover which comes along with it. It slides it smoothly up to the cover, the whole thing. There's never a closing flap, but it's good. Good enough to be kept inside of a bag. If you want, we could make a uh, wooden case for this. So buy a carpenter and put it inside there and keep it with us. So this is the M8 nut. This could be screwing onto a, a clamp on which is fit onto the music stand or a symbol stand. So this is how we bring it out. We should always keep this in handy, this cover, so no scratches would happen. See, this is how we open it. Then, yeah, you can power this on by pressing here. Yeah, see, this is now I could see from the light here that start stop uh, FS uh, six of boss the twin two switch pedal could be connected here to start or stop. No, that should be connected here. Yeah, to the memory uh, slot uh, to the memory connected to this so that we could switch between different memories there want to be 10 Two memory points. slots in this then there's this jog wheel let me turn it you could see that it's going around the speed I think this is the tempo so if you could see this, it goes up to 250, so it's 250 <coughs> per, per, sec, uh, per minute. And there is this light, uh, if it's got a cool backlight. And uh, it switches off by after 5 seconds. So there should be a uh, power, uh, smart key, I mean multi-press, you have to press this power and the light or something like that. A combination key is there which keeps the screen lit. I think let's try this. Light first and this. Then you keep it like that. I think so, I'm not sure. I guess, yes, it stayed lit. So there you see, this could be turned, jog wheel could be turned. Around an athlete reaches 250 beats per minute. That's very high speed, it's a high speed. Then you could reduce it all the way to zero. And the jog wheel turns all the way to 30 beats per minute. Then you got uh, if you increase the volume and they you can see this coming up. The triplet is coming there. This the sixteenth. Two and no, this is the uh, eighth note. This, this is the quarter. This is the accent. Accent is how are you pluck the black trumpet. Between you will have the music theory when we study it. This metronome is really essential. And when you practice as well as doing professional oh work, it really helps a lot. This is the ultimate model from Boss. That means everything that is applied the music theory wise. Uh, all those could be implemented by this as a metronome, task for the metronome.
everything can be incorporated onto this for practice as well as progression to whichever to the orchestra. And then tempo is there to choose the tempo that is when uh, through other modifications we could uh, insert by the tempo through other memory uh, slots we should press this to this is a loop it will be looping from one memory to other or through songs which the memory su- uh, supports the slots uh, uh, 10 slots are there so this uh, loops around those if we have a vast very vast uh, song collection which uh, i mean uh, or maybe a couple of changes inside the song uh, going from scale to scale as well as speed changes and beat changes all could be recorded onto it and played with it so switch the switch is very important fs6 boss fx6 and fs five you both of them we have to buy it's really needed otherwise if you have some guitar volume pedals or something lying around check it out also i'm not sure whether it will work i haven't checked it out yet i'll have to use the passive ones don't use the other ones the power if it goes through your short circuits or something don't try those with the power one powered ones just use the passive pedals in the fs6 and the fs5 you are really needed don't forget that those two switches from boss we have to buy purpose for this and we got the mute here midi connection these two switches will be pressed together if the guitar is connected here or the violin or anything there will be a cabinet response and the speaker emulation here which we could uh, hear through the headphones if it is plugged here we could hear the cabinet uh, that uh, simulation we could see uh, hear the simulated cabinet simulated cabinet and uh, speaker the effect is that this should be good this these two were simultaneously plus together it goes into the amps and there one amp tiny i could came out here so i have activated it i haven't connected the guitar to it yet then if you want to take it off you have to press it to the ones more then uh, beat pattern the tap is the tap tap this is the trigger guide or guide it could be used for either uh, to trigger for trigger settings that means uh, through the midi or yes through the midi through the midi if you connect a trigger virtual pad boss has a uh, roland has that boss also has i guess those pads or midi sequence <coughs> like akai mp40 or uh, trigger pro audio trigger pro could be connected to this i guess i'm not sure i think we could the midi sync will be there we could connect it i don't know you have to check it out in the forums but this midi sequencer you have to go through the internet which one is applicable for the midi through here we could get the beat as well as when we change the songs on ableton live through a midi the sequencer step sequencer or midi sequencer uh, we will uh, get this method of working out with the beats and to get the uh, exact correct leverage the memory is uh, here the memory when we press the memory button this memory uh, uh, written here as a memory it will start leaking and i think using the dog wheel we could go through all the memory all the 10 memory slots so 10 memory portions are allocated the user allocation 10 no it's going on and on i guess it's 100 or no 50 50 memory slots are there 
So we got 50 memory slots, not 10. That means 50 songs we could store in this. And each song, even if it is divided into <coughs> multiple timings as well as uh, speed suggested by the composer, we could implement all those values onto this metronome and playback. And it will sync with the minus one tapes which we could get uh, from uh, website, other websites which we have to buy it. Buy it and uh, then uh, sync it through a smartphone, through a MIDI. There is this I, uh, iRink, iRink MIDI is something which is used for Android as well as Apple. And there are two, two, uh, two gadgets, iRink app. Some I think uh, some hardware is there for the meant for the uh, app for the Apple as well as the iPod, and then uh, there's this I think uh, meant for the Android, which is an app with the Android phones, and uh, a hardware com comes along with it, by which the Android phone could be used to the app switched on, connected through its hardware, what tiny matchbox size hardware is the iRink uh, Android hardware, something which is meant for the guitar to be connected to the phone and the phone to pass the MIDI implementation to this uh, Boss DB90 and you could play along the set list which is set up on the uh, mobile phone, smartphone, so it's required this. So we need to Clamps. One clamp is uh, something which we could put on uh, weight distribution. You should make sure it is a uh, it's a heavy duty music stand, orchestra stand, heavy duty, and not it should not tilt uh, tilt and fall on onto the floor. So, uh, so you should take care of not hurting this metronome. It's a very good gadget. Take good care of it. Then uh, you got this uh, smartphone clamp adapted to the uh, to the music stand as well as this. Both of them you could connect it so that you could uh, touch on the smartphone, the set list song, and scroll through it. The settings will automatically be passed through to this uh, gadget, Doctor Beat Metronome Boss DB90, and you could practice along or perform. This will give the click track and uh, we could connect it to a DAW and then uh, the DAW could pass the MIDI uh, implementation onto this and then as how we set it on the DAW page, DAW page and about the DAW, with how we manipulate through the DAW and save it, we'll get this uh, MIDI implementation through this and we could play along or listen to the click track or through this metronome. It's a gadget which is supposed to play everything, every note composition which could be implemented through the DAW and now in the textbook we could keep it on top of the music reader and then uh, we could set it here for the song. A particular song according to the composition you could read and play the acoustic instruments also. If you got a classical guitar you could put a uh, sound board uh, up and then connect it to this here. You have to get somewhat a good one like for ten dollars or five dollars. Ten dollars you could get a smart bank, something like that. And put it connect it here we could practice also with the cap sip. There are these two same when this cycle comes, the scamps in uh, play. It's a real nice gadget. I always watered it through the college and school, which I never had. I used a, a, a smartphone app instead of it. It served its purpose, but I have I really wanted a gadget to be connected to the music reader stand so that I could practice much more comfortably. If my pa was there, he would have bought me this earlier. My mother wanted me to wait till I do go through my school. And she knew that I had the app, so it wasn't much in consideration. So 
this uh, bucket, uh, this uh, uh, traveling to and fro increases or decreases the amplitude of what has, is being represented through the metronome producing sound. See, this is the volume, total volume of the metronome. This is the, for the triplet. You should by you should be by now familiar with all these settings. So there are other settings here, other one, other two. I think it is meant for the drums. But if you have a drum and a MIDI kit, a MIDI uh, rack, you could use the drums connected to that one portion of the MIDI. That I connect MIDI four is there. That is I connectivity MIDI four. One small gadget is I could I could connect through this to this. And you, that is a very good gadget, I think. I connectivity with E4. So I think you could connect to it. Connect to the Dr. Beat DB90. I connectivity. That one, uh, you, that one is a very good one, which you could connect with that uh, Roland B pad. You can demonstrate to the students or to other workers, I mean, the professional musicians, uh, the beat. Will be sim it will be simplified or easy to understand. It could be simplified with the uh, Roland V drum, uh, Boss V drum. Roland and Boss are the same company. So we could use like that. This is a precious gadget. Don't uh, ever drop it. Make a cage or something with the, by a uh, uh, carpet uh, with wood. Then it will settle like this. Pleasantly, it could, it would not break if it falls over. If with the wood cover something with some rubber uh, stoppers and holes for these, it would be nice. I'm planning to see a carpenter about that. There's a big here through which we could uh, reference notes. I guess uh, it produces a beep uh, with regards to the tonal uh, whichever it may be the tone C, C4 up to the all octaves we could hear a reference to that tune our guitars our violins or keyboard or if it is to be tuned That's, and, uh, it, could, it is a very good orchestral gadget. We can uh, tune, I guess. I'm not sure about that. I think it got a tuning. Yes, the reference tone means it's tuning. So this is a, a very versatile, a very volatile, a very good product for the whole orchestration unit. The orchestras, where we go, this is a must. In that studios also, we could keep it. In our home studio, it's a very essential product along with the two switches which is recommended. And that MIDI, I connectivity MIDI 4, so if you have, then we got the click. And uh, we could click the track and we got those smartphones and it's going to be really nice. There's this one uh, pro version of iRink. Pro version of iRink. Uh, one uh, which comes with uh, a small tiny iRig keyboard, I R I G, iRig keyboard and uh, connectivity to the smartphone. I think all these we should be having. The small tiny studio setup is what we need, and uh, if possible, a iPod touch or something. If we have that, we could connect all these through the connectivity MIDI 4 or the bigger one, I connectivity 10 is there. Something of that sort, we could connect everything through the MIDI. If we have a MIDI setup like that, tiny, tiny instruments, uh, we could uh, keep ourselves uh, completely immersed in all those for a long while. The video is getting longer than I expected. So it's time to shut this down. And there you see, this is the battery compartment.
This could be kept on the table like this, but don't. Because this seems a little bit flimsy. It could snap and come out. So don't use this portion. Uh, this instead use this clamp. I think there will be a metal frame inside which keeps hold this levitated on uh, onto the music stand. So there should be a frame inside, I guess. But whatever it may be, you try to get a carpenter to make a tiny body with a MTF plywood or something like that, or real wood, something which you want to paint with wood to varnish and keep it very safe with rubber stoppers. If you could ask a carpenter, you do it for us, for you. Don't give it to kids. Never give this gadget to kids. Keep it safe on top of on the top layer of, of your music uh, rack or perhaps your desk. Keep it. This had a book reader and a smartphone mount or to the music reader. You could use it in the orchestration hall or practice room. With the headphones also you can keep it. So about it, it's taking too long, the video, so I'll stop now. So there, this is how it is done. There are two LEDs out here, you can see, two LEDs. So two and two on the other side. So four LEDs are there and uh, it lights up the screens, looking really beautiful. There's some, uh, you see, these are the, how you, operated at a basic level there's more to it much more which could be uh, said about this because it covers all the music theory in it music theory times rest what all all throughout credit and diploma uh, or to any extent it's all complete in this so i'll power this off right now they take down these level uh, but uh, level sliders always do like that okay you keep all the level down and then you have this cover here the this cover is there so i don't know whether the wooden block when it comes out you put this cover in but maybe he'll put some leather onto that uh, or make a leather bag to cover it after it's been putting, put it, put within, uh, put around this one. Something of that sort you have to plan with the carpenter. The carpenter will know what to do and uh, a leather to pack also. A velcro or something, some rubber stopper so it doesn't damage even if it falls. If we don't think about it, it shouldn't fall down, okay? Take good care of it. Have a happy day, life. Be very calm. Be very supportive to others. Learn all the basic theory. Play well. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>